Hi folks, welcome to Super Mega Tutorials. We're going to try to teach you how to take public domain and uh, Creative Commons zero images, no attribution required images and resources, and actually make something out of them. Something useful for your websites, for your e-learning, or for things like that. What we're going to look at today is using something called the Deep Dream Generator. It's a tool that's on the web and it uses Google's Deep Dream technology to actually take an image and go really far beyond what that image already is using neural technology. I am not going to describe neural technology or how it works. It's way too complex for me to describe. I don't completely understand it. And while I'm fascinated by it, I'm afraid it's going to put you guys to sleep. So instead, Let's dive into using the Deep Dream Generator to make images that really stand out from the free images that we can already get online. Do that by going to deepdreamgenerator.com and make an account for yourself. It takes about 30 seconds, so it's really not that big of a deal. Once you've done that, this is the screen that you're going to be faced with. It's a very, very simple screen and things can get a little lost because it's not really thought out completely as far as uh, user navigation, but it's really not that hard either. So let me show you how it works. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click Deep Style, which is either here or over here. Deep Style is a little bit different from Deep Dream in ways that I'm not going to completely go into. But Deep Style, what it does is it chooses a style and paints that whole style over an image of your choice. And that may sound a little weird, so let me show you what I'm talking about by first going to their public gallery. I'll come right back to this in a moment. In their public gallery, there's all kinds of images. Here's one of a cat, and it's all stringy and weird. Let's see how they did that by clicking on the image of the cat. You'll see that it's all stretched out there, a long cat. There's a couple of choices up here, including original and style. If I click original, I'll see that this is the actual original photo they started with. And they applied a style to make it look like that. What the style is, is by, we can see that by clicking style. It opens up in a new window and you see that they've got a picture of all these multicolored paper clips. Now paper clips have this kind of tubular shape, so they're all wrapped around these wires, but they're all different colors and they're very distinct differences. But by applying that structure and those colors over an image, well, you end up with something that looks like that. How do we use that? Let's go back to deep style. The first thing you're going to do is upload an image. By this point, you've already chosen the image you want to start with. In my case, I've chosen something from Unsplash called Beach Girl. Now I'm going to upload Beach Girl 2, which is a cropped image of that. Let me show you, though, once I've uploaded that. It's only going to show you that an image is uploaded. It won't show you anything more. This is the image. Now it's a pretty big image. So I downloaded the file. And then what I did is I went and got my favorite uh, image editor. In my case, I use it, used paint.net, which you can get from getpaint.com. Um, or maybe that's .org. I'll have, to, I'll have the link in the description. In any case, get paint, and I cropped the image and saved it. That was it. That way, what I had is instead of this whole thing, I have just a square that focuses right in on the face. So we're going back to the Deep Dream Generator, and I can choose a style. That's my next step. So first step is you upload the image that you want once you've just chosen it and cropped it to the shape you want. Next is you choose a style. There's all these lovely styles that you can choose from, and there's even more if you hit show more styles. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to choose a style that I've already picked for myself. This is a page of a comic book from the Digital Comic Museums. Uh, that's digitalcomicmuseum.com. These are all public domain comics. The comic I chose is a page from The Spirit, which is a favorite one. Uh, of many comic aficionados. I was just looking for big colors, really sharp contrasts, and that cartoony style. So that's what I've chosen there, and that's what I'm going to apply. So let's upload that image. I click here, and then you're going to have to choose Choose File. I find my image, and I open it. Now I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. There's only two more things I'm going to do. 
In my case, I always open up settings, and for resolution, I go from normal to medium. There's really no large setting. You can play with these later on. Uh, I really, it's going to make a bit of a difference depending on what you're using. You can choose to preserve, preserve the original color or choose the style scale and weight. It takes a little bit of time to work with these, so just I would leave it set the where it is for the first round anyway. You can choose to keep it private or make it public and share it in the, the gallery we were just looking at. And then hit generate. Now what's going to happen is this is going to try to generate that deep dream or that deep style. And it's going to take up to 15 minutes. So we're not going to make you sit through that whole 15 minutes. Instead, let me show you what that would look like. Since I already did it once, this is what it looks like. Now, do you remember the original image? The original image looks like this, which is nice. And there's some really nice elements to the image. But this really pops out. It really jumps out at you. You see that you have the comic speaking all around here, but you can't quite read what it says. You have the colors from the comic page. Looking back here, sorry, here. You see the colors that we have, that we have that red, we have some blues going on, really bright colors, comic book colors. And they're all applied using the Deep Dream technology that kind of tries to figure out where things should go according to, well, according to the, the technology used. It's kind of like dipping your paintbrush into a whole painting and using everything about that painting over something. And you end up with this kind of a result. All that's left is to download the image by clicking download image and, well, you know, download the image. I hope that you found this useful. Uh, again, this is just using free tools that are on the web, free tools that I can download, and public domain or Creative Commons zero images, no attribution necessary. I am going to give you some in information in the link, and I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to talking to you next time.